Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. So I recently did a series on my log trailer and now I'm to the point where I want to do some upgrades. The trailer was functional as is, but to make things a little bit more uh, easy and convenient, I had a few ideas to make things a little better. One thing was to add a bunch of these, some shackle mounts in various places on the trailer and on the log arch. They'll make loading logs a little bit more convenient for me. So instead of going out and buying a bunch of these, which are just, you know, pieces of metal with holes in them, I decided to make my own. <laughs> Let me show you how I did it. These are the shackles that I bought to use on the trailer. They're rated for 4 tons and have a 7 8 inch pin. The shackle mounts are going to be made from 3 inch by 1 inch thick cold rolled steel. I picked up this off cut from my local steel yard, which is more than enough for the 6 mounts that I wanted to make. I started by laying out the individual mounts on the steel. Then I laid out the center points for the holes and marked the locations with a spring-loaded center punch. And I just laid out the areas that I'm planning to remove from the corners to make sure it looked alright. The hole where the pin goes through is going to be drilled to 15 16 and of course there are plenty of ways to drill holes in steel. I decided to go with an inexpensive option and use a hole saw. I used a hole saw to drill 1 inch diameter holes in half inch steel when I built the arch mounts for the trailer and that worked out great. I took my time drilling the holes, keeping the bit well lubricated. It took about 10 minutes to drill each hole but I had to stop after every other hole to let my drill press cool down. This is easily more work than it's ever done. One tip that I got from Will on Instagram was to drill a few holes in the waste area to give the chips somewhere to go. Because once you get down past a quarter inch, the saw can't clear the chips as easily since the gullets are below the surface. Before I tried this method, I would add lubricant to clump up the shavings and raise the bit to clear them. That worked alright, but having the relief holes made the drilling easier. It took roughly the same amount of time to drill the holes since I had to drill those extra holes first but the time spent with the hole saw was much less. The hole saw was still cutting after six holes, so that's not bad for a six dollar bit. Now that I have all the holes drilled in the blank, I can start separating and clipping the corners of each mount. I use my abrasive cutoff saw for this. I started by cutting the 45 degree cuts on both corners, which gives the shackle and whatever it's connected to clearance to swing past the corner. Once those are cut, I could swing the fence back to square, stand the blank up, and separate the mount. Each cut on the saw took about 45 seconds, and I ended up using most of the cutoff wheel. It's pretty small now. The last bit of work was done with an angle grinder, with a flap wheel to grind the sharp corners off, and to grind the welding bevels on the bottom. So there you go, a bunch of shackle mounts, really easy to make. Uh, these things are about 20 bucks if you buy them individually, and 
my cost altogether was about $10 for the piece of steel and $6 for the whole saw. So for less than the cost of buying one, I was able to make six of them and two hours of my time, which, you know, still a little cheaper, I think. <laughs> so at this point, these shackle mounts can be either welded directly to uh, whatever you're trying to attach these to. If the base material is thick enough, uh, in my case, I'm using a mounting plate. So the shackle mount will be welded directly to a mounting plate and the plate will be welded to whatever it is I'm going to be attaching this to. In my case, the arch or the trailer. So I've already gone ahead and welded two of these to my arch forward and back and that's where I primarily wanted these things for. That makes it really easy for attaching the winch cable and for attaching the logs to the other side of the arch. I put them to the test already and I was able to pick up one end of a 5,000 pound log and the mounts didn't uh, have any problem with that. <laughs> the mounting plates or the shackles. So I'm calling these good. <laughs> they're really beefy and they look really good when they're installed and painted. So I will have a video on the rest of the upgrades that I have planned for the trailer. I just wanted to go into a little more detail while making these because it was kind of fun and really a little bit of a different thing for me. If you want to check out some of my videos on my trailer, I'll have a link to a playlist where you can see the videos of the actual work on the trailer, building the arch and all that stuff, and then actually the videos of using it, going out and picking up some logs. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop or my other videos, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, is this still woodworking? It might be. Happy woodworking. <laughs>